a target audience. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I am here today to formally lodge a complaint. I have been bitterly disappointed by the general lack of enthusiasm I encounter when telling American girls that I'm British. <laughs> Has, has anybody seen that movie Love Actually? <laughs> where, where that British guy uh, goes to Wisconsin or something and he's at a bar and all he has to do is say, bottle of water. And then uh, there's like girls drooling all over him. <laughs> so that's what I had in mind when I put down my deposit. <laughs> also, whenever I go home to the UK now, my mates are like, Oi, Phil, with your fucking British accent, the girls must be drooling all over you, they? <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I'm not seeing all that much drool out there. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe your fucking pity drool over there. <laughs> uh, no, no, so, um, the most common reaction I get, actually, when telling girls, like, particularly important girls, that I'm British, is, um, Oh my god, I did study abroad at Oxford. <laughs> where, did, where did you go? <laughs> which, which fucking sucks, because I didn't go to goddamn Oxford. <laughs> or Cambridge, or LSE, or any other school you've ever heard of. <laughs> um, so, last, last semester I decided to remedy this. I, I decided to take a trip inland to test out the British accent there. So um, I went with Dan Phillips to none other than Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Give me a roll tap. Uh, and also on the trip was uh, Ali and Jordan who are both here as well, so they can verify this story. Um, so uh, the reason I picked Alabama, by the way, is because if the good people of Alabama were anywhere near as into my accent as Kemra was, then... <laughs> so, so anyway, I'm at a bar, and I'm at a bar, and it's like a honky tonk bar with a band and people wearing cowboys and shit. And uh, there's this bloody gorgeous southern girl sitting next to me. So um, I break out my emergency sex monocle, which. <laughs> British guys carry a standard issue for just this occasion. So, I turn to Dan, and in my loudest, poshest British accent, I say, uh, Daniel, old bean, what do you say we procure another bottle of the Margot 82? What? <laughs> the, the girl's been listening, she spins around excitedly, she's like, Y'all's got a funny accent, where are y'all from? <laughs> I am from the UK. She, she looked a bit confused. Y'all are gay? <laughs> no, the UK, British. I know this is a tight shirt, but it's a British thing, trust me. <laughs> uh, she, she's still looking a bit confused at this point, so um, I figure I'm going to have to change tack. Maybe if I slip in that I'm a Wharton MBA, maybe that will impress her. So um, I ask her what she does, and she says she works for a local charity. Bollocks. This one thing might not work. <laughs> <laughs> then she asks me and I say, um, I am an MBA at the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> not a flicker. <laughs> but then I have a thought and I am in Alabama, so just maybe. And I turn back, you know, where Trump went to school. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't, don't pretend you've never abandoned your entire political ideology to get to the hospital. <laughs> anyway, it turns out she voted for Hillary. <laughs> so, um, it's not going very well, but I figure I've got one more trick up my sleeve. And uh, at this point I can see that Dan is rapidly losing all respect for me, so I'll have to wait until he, wait till he goes to the restroom. So, um, I'm currently doing this dual degree at Harvard Kennedy School, and she probably heard of Harvard, probably doesn't know that HKS is for HBS rejects. So, <laughs> if ever there was a time to drop the H-bomb, now is it. <laughs> so, so I turn back to her. Actually, I am at Harvard. <laughs> This time there's a reaction. She looks back and says, Wow, y'all must be real smart. <laughs> but then she decides she doesn't fucking believe me because I just told her I went to school in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so, I've used my three best lines at this point. 
and uh, it seems like the evening's still going to end in disaster. I'm just going to have to resort to my go-to backup manoeuvre for when all else fails. I shove my hand down my trousers, rummage around a bit, whip out my three-inch Harvard ID card. <laughs> you guys are fucking disgusting. <laughs> also, if I was talking about that, it would be at least three and a half inches. Maybe even four if it's not cold, so jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was standing there with my Harvard idea, and just at that moment, fucking Dan, who already thinks I'm being a loser, decides to return from the restroom. <laughs> getting caught using your Harvard ID to pick up Alabama girls is more embarrassing than getting caught masturbating by your gran. <laughs> and yes, I would know, actually. <laughs> um, so it's at this point in the evening I have a realisation. Maybe American girls are kind of onto something and not being into British guys. Maybe we actually are all bastards. <laughs> so, uh, 